Hey guys, let's discuss this problem today. Its rating is uh, 1600. So as always, we are going to start with the example here. In the example, we are going to have three test cases. One, two, three, right? Each test case start with the number here. So it means the length of the following array. Right, and in the array, we are going to have uh, n digits, and uh, the digits as value is from zero to nine. Right, and we are going to find out the good subarrays in the given array. Right, what is a good subarray? So, for example, in this array, we can find uh, this sub uh, good subarray because its length equals to its sum, right? So its length is one and the sum of uh, the digits in this array is equal to one as well, right? And for this subarray, its length is two and the sum in this subarray is two. And for this array, its length is three and the sum in this uh, subarray is uh, three. Right, so given one, two, zero, we can find uh, this uh, good subarray, we can find uh, this good subarray, and this good subarray, right? How do we uh, solve this problem? So, um, wait, uh, we need to output the number of good subarray for each of the given array, right? That's obvious. So, how do we solve this problem? So we can translate this problem, right? Let's imagine if we have a, another array here, which uh, has all of uh, its um, digits as uh, one, right? So all we need to do is to find out, um, the uh, how, how many subarrays of the first array equals to the sum of the sec second array, right? So for example, uh, one equals to one and uh, two plus zero equals to one plus one and uh, one plus two plus zero equals to one plus one plus one, right? So we translate it uh, into this problem. So uh, just to, to find the subarrays that uh, has the same sum uh, in the first array and the second array, right? And uh, we can further simplify this problem by subtract uh, the second array from the first array, right? So if we uh, minus one, for each of the items in the first array, we can get a new array. Zero, two minus one equals to one. Zero minus one equals to minus one, right? For this subarray, for this array, we need to find out those uh, subarrays with the sum zero, right? For example, uh, this subarray sum equals to zero. Uh, this subarray sum equals to zero. One plus minus one equals to zero, right? And uh, this guy, this subarray sum equals to zero, right? So all we need to do now is to find out those subarrays with the sum zero for the new array, right? How can we do that? So uh, we need to introduce a interesting uh, algorithm here. So let's say we have a random array. Um, we need to find how many subarrays in this array that is a sum equals to zero, right? So first, we can calculate uh, the array's prefix sum. So what is the prefix sum of this array? Uh, is 
mm, let's see is one and one uh, for uh, the initial state prefix sum is zero right and now it's one and now it's three one plus two equals two three and minus one equals two two and the plus zero still equals to two and the minus one now equals to one right this is a prefix sum and as we can see here uh, the uh, prefix sum value one appears twice right that means uh, the prefix sum um, change a bit in between and then arrive at the same value right what does that tell us that means the uh, sub array in between sum equals to zero right let's check that uh, two plus minus one uh, plus zero plus minus one equals to zero right so the prefix uh, sum with the value one uh, after some change uh, back to one again. That means the subarray sum equals to zero, right? So in this way, we can count the number of uh, um, good subarrays that the sum equals to zero, right? So uh, the algorithm is that uh, uh, when uh, up when we calculate the prefix sum, uh, we uh, track the number of uh, appearance of the uh, sum uh, for this value, right? So, for example, uh, the number of uh, prefix sum with the value zero is uh appears once in the initial state right and uh, uh the number one uh appears uh zero times uh in the initial state and the two zero times three zero times and then we move to the uh, first uh, item and find out that uh, the uh one uh, appears itself and the previously the one never appears so our answer uh, final answer which is the number of uh, the good streams with the sum of uh, zero equals to still equals to zero right and then we move to the second item uh, and we find out that the prefix sum now is equal to three so three uh, never appears before so the answer is still equal to zero and now uh, the prefix sum uh, changed to uh, two uh, two never appears before uh, so uh, before we uh, move move uh, we need to update the counter right so because uh, this uh, th this prefix uh, sum with the value one appears uh, here. So we increase the counter uh, for one, right? And the three appears here. So we increase the count counter by one and two appears here. So we increase the counter by one. And then we move to here. We find out the sum, uh, prefix sum equals to two and the two uh, appears before uh, one time. So we increase the answer by one, right? So we find a uh, substring with the sum of value zero now, right? Um, actually that, uh, that is uh, this string. Uh, sorry about that. That is uh, which string? Uh, that is just this string, right? Zero. So zero is the good substring here. And then we move to the next here, right? 
So one also appears before. So uh, we increase, uh, actually when we uh, find the number two, we need to increase this counter as well. So we find a two appears twice and find a one appears before. So we uh, plus uh, add this counter into our final final count, uh, answer, right? And we increase the counter here. So let's say uh, we have one more digit here, uh, which is, uh, let's see, um, one, right? Let's say uh, we have another one here so that our, um, so that our uh, prefix sum equals to two now. So in this case, when we move to uh, move here, uh, we find out the counter for two equals to two, right? So we need to add a two into the final answer. Uh, that makes the final answer equals to four, right? And we need to increase the counter for two as well. So uh, during uh, this step, what, uh, what two um, substream we found is this one, right? And also um, this one, right? We find these two substreams, right? That's how we count the number of four substreams that the sum equals to zero. So hope that makes sense. So let's look at the code here. Um, as we can see, it's really simple code base, right? So read the number of test cases, read the number of uh, digits in each array, and we have a map to count the prefix sum appearance and uh, the uh, initial state is that the counter for zero equals to one. And uh, uh, this is the final answer we're going to output, which is the number of four substreams that uh, sums up to zero. And uh, this is the current uh, prefix sum. And we are going to calculate uh, each of the prefix sum uh, we iterate uh, from the first item to the last, and the uh, x is the current uh, uh, value of uh, the current digit value, and uh, we add the current uh, value to the prefix sum uh, to the last prefix sum to get the current uh, prefix sum, right? And uh, we add the um, previously a uh, number of appearance to the final answer, right? And we update the counter for the prefix sums value, right? And in the end, we output the final answer. So I guess that's it. Uh, hope that helps. Thank you for watching. See you next time.